Good day, everyone. This lesson is on the creditor's reconciliation. One of those exercises where we don't need to do the reconciliation statement or any ledger accounts, they've been given to us, as you can see on the page. On the right hand side, you have the creditor's ledger account. We are, remember, Ekasi traders, and we buy on credit from Timbeka suppliers. And then we have the statement from Timbeka suppliers which basically cross-references our credits generally with their debits and our debits with their credits in that respect. Our task now is to look at the errors and omissions and other information that they're pointing out to us and then attempt to answer these questions based on that. So let's get to it. So there's A to A, B, C, D, right all the way down up to F. So first up, let's take a look at A. Invoice number 289, invoice number 289, error it is, was incorrectly reflected in the account of Timbeka suppliers in the creditor's ledger. In other words, if we're looking for an error, we are going to find it, invoice number 289, here. And if we look for invoice number in the account of Timbeka suppliers in the credit, these goods were purchased from Tami suppliers. Now, straight away, we start to ask ourselves, what's going on here? And Tami Suppliers is another customer, is another supplier altogether. So Timbeka's account was incorrectly credited in our books. We now need to debit this account. So in other words, we need to minus 49,100 from our records. And that will take care of A. Okay. Let me try something different here and change a pen color. Let's go to purple. And so purple takes us to B. Let's take a look at B. Credit note number 791 was recorded incorrectly in the statement of account. In other words, the error is on our supplier's books. Credit note number 791, there it is there, with 13,100. This relates to the correct entry for the debit note 702 in the creditor's ledger. Debit note 702, there it is there at 10,300. So basically our work of a debit of 10,300 is correct. Problem is the error is on the statement of account. Now how to correct that? They have unfairly charged us an additional amount. 10,300 subtracted from 13,100 is 2,800. So they've overcharged us by 2,800. What we now need to do is basically get that 2,800 added back to our account. Because when we returned goods, we returned for 10,300. They recorded 13,100. So they recorded too much on our account. Of course, if we keep quiet about this, we might get away with it. But this lecture is not about um, uh, basically duping our suppliers. It's about correcting errors because at some time or the other, when they do an audit, they would probably find the error. So we're pointing out the error and we're fixing it. So that's B. Um, before we go to C, let's get a color change. And let's try that color, item C. Invoice number 395 on the statement of account was for goods ordered by Ekasi Traders. 395, invoice number 395, here it is. 12,500. Invoice number 395, we don't see it anyway. So what do we do with that? They have debited our account with 12,500. We need to credit our account with 12,500. In other words, increase our debt to Timbeka. And that takes care of item C. Let's go to D and a change of color. D, here we go with D. Timbeka suppliers also purchase goods on credit from Ikasi traders. In other words, they buy from us, uh, sorry, we buy from them, and now they started buying from us. Ikasi traders has transferred a debit balance from the debtor's ledger using journal voucher 585. Timbeka suppliers will include this on the next statement. So, journal voucher number 585. Oh, there you have it here. And Timbeka's account was debited with 6,400. We now need to go to the statement and remind them to consider that 6,400 that is not yet on that account. Item E, and let's change that color again. Hopefully you're seeing the value in these color changes. Item E, 
The transaction on 24th April is for merchandise returned to Timbeka suppliers. 24th April, there we go, 9,700. 24th April, item E, 9,400 or 9,700. All looks good until you realize something odd has happened. We have credited that in our books. They have credited theirs in their books. Somebody has made a mistake. There should be one debit and one credit because as we buy from them, they debit our account, we credit our account. So let's take a closer look at E. The transaction on 24th April is for merchandise returned to Tembeka. Merchandise returned to Tembeka by us should result in us owing them less money. And with us placing that on the credit side, we have made a mistake. That should have been sitting on the debit side. So how do we fix that? We now need, because we subtracted 9,700, or we added 9,700 to our account, we now need to subtract 9,700 to get rid of that problem, and then a further 9,700 to correct the error. Or simply put, a further 19,400 as our answer with a minus sign attached to it. Hopefully you understand that one. We're moving on to F. Let's change color here again. We'll find uh, a dark blue. Item F. The statement of account reflects transactions up to 25th April. Statement of uh, account, if we're looking here, is a 24th last entry and they're saying we closed our books on the 25th. And there is an answer on the 31st of a check payment of 92,600 that's not reflecting on the statement. So to reconcile, we need to go to our statement, 92,600. And because we paid them this amount, we now need to ask them to drop our account with that balance. And if you bring all of this information together, you'd be hopeful that both sides would equal to each other. So when we're adding it up, we're getting 61,200 on the statement of account. And then on the creditor's ledger, we're also getting 61,200. That concludes the creditor's recon and the creditor's ledger. Now let's look at 1.2.2. Refer to information C about invoice number 395. Invoice number 395, there it is. Invoice number 395. On the 22nd, it appears on the statement. And let's look at what's gone on. It was discovered that the purchasing manager, Bradley, had taken these goods for his personal use. Eish, that sounds terrible. The owner regards Bradley as a valued member of staff and does not regard it as theft. As theft. Now that sounds ridiculous. Bradley has basically gone out there and placed an order in the business's name for this 12,500. And when the goods arrived, he took possession of it. Now, if you look for a corresponding 12,500 from that debit side to this credit side, you'll see nothing. Because of course, Bradley did not want to enter anything in our ledger account. How do we deal with this? Well, for me, it's simply a case of a disciplinary hearing with a view to having Bradley dismissed. End of story. That's what happens in the real world. And I would elaborate on that and just explain it as that's how it sits. However, you're writing out a full set of answers here which examiners want to see. So perhaps here could be some part of it. We state that Bradley has taken advantage of the situation. His position of trust, he's gone out there and abused it. We can also talk of his behavior being unethical. Truth is, it is far worse than unethical. It is, it is theft in no uncertain terms. But it's unethical because he's using business resources to enrich himself. Of course, we can ask him to pay back the sum of money that these goods were for. And you've got more than enough answers here to cater for the four marks. So number one, Bradley's taken advantage of his position. Number two, his behavior is unethical, illegal, etc., he should be going to a, discipline, a disciplinary hearing where in all likelihood, the company should move for his dismissal. This is how it generally works in the real world. It's not, this is not a petty problem. This is theft of company resources. And inevitably, the organization will push for him being dismissed. Of course, there are also other options. You don't want to dismiss him because he's a personal friend and all that. And you tell him you noted what's happened and you could demote the person or reduce the person's salary. But the key thing to do would be to 
change their, do- their, their job title and pay them less. And that would hopefully take care of that problem and it doesn't happen again in the future. I hope you found this segment of work useful. And that's your question for nine marks tackled a few minutes ago and four marks that's done now. Thank you.